I'm Dr. Gary Lyman. I'm professor of medicine at the University of Washington in Seattle. The American Society of Hematology has undertaken a very bold effort to develop guidelines across the spectrum of clinical situations where venous thromboembolism becomes a major clinical uh, problem. ASH has decided to really reinvigorate the guideline process and to do it in what I consider the most rigorous and exhaustive fashion. It's labor intensive, uh, but it's extremely important. The rate at which information is coming to practitioners, particularly in hematology and oncology, is so daunting to keep up to date with this across all the different conditions and all the different possible complications of cancer or other blood diseases and the treatment of these conditions as new treatments come along is, is just insurmountable if you don't have a process like ASH has developed here uh, to summarize that evidence and, and provide it to clinicians in a way that can be useful at the point of care to share in the decisions that need to be made and, and make the best uh, treatment recommendation for each patient. It's uh, part of the ASH process for developing guidelines, and I consider it a very critical part of that process, is the engagement of patients within the review and recommendation process. The patient perspective is more critical now than it's ever been, simply because there's often so many choices, there's so much information. Sometimes that information is even conflicting. Uh, but ultimately, the impact of the disease and the treatment possibilities is most primarily impacting on the patient. So we're in an era where we consider shared decision making, where the clinician discusses what he or she knows about the condition, what they know about the evidence and the possible strategies for treatment, but ultimately the patient perspective is foundational uh, to implementing uh, guidelines and I sincerely believe, and Ash does as well, that patients should be engaged in this process from the very beginning, helping formulate what are the pressing questions that need to be addressed, what is the relevant evidence uh, addressing those questions, and how can recommendations be put forward that are both understandable and meaningful to the patients who are going to be most directly affected by whatever decision is made. One of the other aspects of the ASH guideline process is uh, we have international representation on these panels. So we do try to make the recommendations relevant not just to the United States, uh, but to the rest of North America and even address uh, disparities issues or uh, the impact that these recommendations might have in less developed parts of the world. Um, ASH guidelines will truly be international guidelines and will be used and considered globally once they're put forward to help guide optimal care of, of patients at risk for thrombosis who have cancer.